Um, first of all, you're going to have to go to www.gimpgimp.org. Um, you'll have to download the GIMP 2.6, but you go to download and you go to download GIMP. Download GIMP 2.6.11 installer for Windows XP SP2 or later. No idea what that means, but I understand new Windows XP. So you gotta click on that. Um, yeah, and then you're gonna go down to here, which says this type of software, this type of file can harm your computer. Are you sure you want to, you know? all that but it re it says that but it doesn't really mean it it never really happens so I've already downloaded it so I'll just discard it you are gonna have to press save or go ahead with it or something so I hope you enjoy and then we'll get on to the next bit okay um, you should have already got the uh, downloaded GIMP it should be in the uh, yeah, uh, thing over there. Um, open it up. Takes a while. And this should come up, so you should see that. And these are the toolboxes. Now you have got this and you go to uh well first I'll just show you just put that down and then you click this is my raw footage if you can see that and then you'll just okay now over here it says next frame just move the camera over a little bit Okay, it says next frame. Now you keep clicking that until you get the frame before you shoot. So. Okay, you should see that. Now that's the frame. Then over here it says split. So you just click that. And then you click this next frame once more. So it's like that. Then you press split, split again. You should now have um, one part, a second part over in here, and then a third part. What you're going to do is you're going to go to just the start of um, the first one, just before you fire. You're going to go up to the very top up here. I'll see if you can... up to tools gonna click that then go to take picture from preview click that this should come up we're just gonna call this one uh, yeah and then this should come up before it just that there's a video that's the thing and then then you are gonna take out gimp which you should have downloaded and opened and you will go to file up here I'm gonna zoom in then you go down to oops, open click open and you're gonna find one it should be in here you click that and go down and press open so there is a picture of whatever you call it um, then you go to file open I have already downloaded a um, a gun package from Stubbs effects if you want to head over there and get everything you can get blood effects and everything uh, you can go down to gunshot nope sorry not that one muzzle flash I'm just gonna choose this one and I'm gonna go press open this should come up I have already got mine on alpha so I have, I have, um, it'll come out clear. If you do not have it on alpha, it will uh, just come out on a black piece. 
So if you're gonna download one, you might wanna get one on black, and you're just gonna have to go to blending modes. Okay, and then you use this, this over here. I'm just gonna zoom on. It's like a rectangle. So you just click that and outline a box. So I've already done that. I'll outline the box of what you want. And then you just press Control C to copy. Okay. Then you will just X that. Don't bother saving. So you have this. You'll co then c press Control V for the th for the um, muzzle flash to come up. Um, then you will go down up down or whatever to the scaling tool, which looks like that. You click on that, and then you will just do this. Size it down to whatever size you want. Just make, and I will push it just there, just in front of the gun. You can rotate it with this. Click on it, and then you will rotate whatever, rotate. So it then just gonna click on the scaling tool again. Just gonna move it down a little bit, scale. So it sort of looks like this. Um, you can go also go uh, to up to colors and go down to brightness and contrast. Just gonna move this up, and you can put the brightness up or the contrast up or up or down. Either way. I've already done mine, you can scale yours, you can see the sort of orange glow on the outside of it. And that's the uh, that's the brightness on it. I've just pushed it up. And then you'll exit, save, export, save. Um, you can X that, you don't really need it anymore. Then you can click on 1, which should be up here. And there is the new one. It should just replace it automatically. Um, you will then drag this in to the timeline just where, just before you, when you split. So just before. It's very long now, but you want to trim that down to size. You just want to take it down to the duration of 8 seconds. 8 seconds. You will then... Let's see if I can just shorten that. Anyway. Then you can get... Um, open up a uh, file. Just gonna get one. You can download a gunshot off the internet. But I'm just gonna go to the one I already have. After Effects. And you'll have um, reloading gun, gun shotgun silence, machine gun. I'm just gonna use gun shot. I'm gonna play. <coughs> Sounds like that. <coughs> then I'll just drag that in. And then you will see it up here. You will then drag it down to where you fired the shot so it should be down there Damn it. it should be down there so I'll just play the entire movie let's see what it's like There is a simple tutorial on how to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is my first um, After Effects tutorial. Um, everything is free when you download it, but most things maybe aren't. But GIMP and Windows Movie Maker, I'm sure, um, are free. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.